Let's unbox the MSI Shadow 2 XOC RTX 5050 and take a look at its design and features. This is how this graphics card comes new from a store. It is not wrapped, not sealed in any way, just a normal box. Let's open it up. Oh, there we go. Eco-friendly packaging. And there isn't much in terms of accessories. There aren't any. Just the documentation and a quick start guide. The usual stuff. The anti-static bag is sealed with a piece of tape. And here is the graphics card. The Shadow 2X is the cheapest model in the lineup. Let's peel this off. Is there a pull tab for the top one? Yes, here it is. And for the top one there is no pull tab, but there are plenty of places where I can just peel it from. At the front there are two fans and a plastic shroud. That feels a bit cheap, but what do you expect? This is supposed to be a cost-effective graphics card that costs cheap and performs well. Unfortunately, the backplate is plastic too, made from exactly the same material. That isn't good, because uh, plastic traps heat, and the heat will accumulate over here, behind the GPU, as well as behind the memory modules. It would have been better if there was no backplate at all. Of course, that is from a purely functional point of view. From a point of view of aesthetics, this actually looks okay. Better than without any backplate, because uh, bare PCBs, they don't always look good. In terms of display connectivity, we get one HDMI and three display ports. So that is quite generous. Four displays in total. And these are the latest and greatest HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 2.1 connections. This graphics card is powered via a single 8-pin connector. This is a 130-watt graphics card. MSI recommends to pair it with the 550-watt power supply. Out of the box, the PCIe connector comes protected with this cover. Let's open it up and take a look at it. Here it is. Now let's measure it. The length is 197 millimeters, and how tall is it? 120. And it takes up exactly two slots. This is a compact graphics card. In terms of cooling, there isn't much to get excited about, but this is a 130 watt graphics card, so it doesn't really need a lot of cooling. It has just a single heat pipe that stretches all the way through here, pierces through the heatsink here, and then the same pipe comes out at the top, pierces through the heatsink on this side as well. And there is uh, like a massive aluminum slab over there, cooling the VRAM modules, that's the memory, as well as parts of the GPU. 
Surprisingly, the power delivery system has some active cooling as well. There it is, right there. You see it? And at the top as well. It is connected to the heatsink directly. Here is what it looks like inside of a PC. Thanks to its color theme, I think it will work really well in pretty much any build. Furthermore, it's a very compact graphics card. It's way shorter than the micro ATX motherboard used in this PC. I'll make a full review for this graphics card on my main channel, linked in the description below. I'll test its performance, thermals, etc, etc. If you're interested, go and subscribe to that channel. The video will be up shortly. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to reward my work with a like and subscribe for more if you haven't already. Also, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the Shadow 2X version of the RTX 5050? It was I, Vadim. Until next time.